Right, so welcome to this update video here uh, for Space Wolves. I'm getting them done on commission uh, from SiegeStudios.co.uk and uh, got a unit of Grey Hunters come through here, a unit of 10. And so in this video, I'm going to zoom in, take a look at the work that Siege Studios have done, talk a bit about the army we've got planned as well for Space Wolves. Exciting time. I'm uh, really happy to see these new units arrive. And uh, got a small force of Space Wolves ready now. Uh, so hopefully, we'll see them in some games uh, in the near future. So there's the first one here, Grey Hunters. This is a fantastic one here, love the head on this one, really really good. Transfers they've done for me as well. Done a very very nice job on these. So that's one. This would be the leader I'm guessing here with the chainsword, none of the others have a chainsword so that's the leader for this. Uh, for the squad, squad of 10 uh, I've gone for, so that's the first one. So predominantly bolters for these, just to separate them from the blood claws who would be more close combat with a chainsaw and bolt pistol. That, uh, looking nice, that one there. I do like these wolf head ones, very distinctive uh, for the space wolves. Quite strange for a space marine to have a helmet like that, but that's the Unique style. Yeah, picking out all the gems here, very nice. Very good, that's that one. Another one. Just seems like an endless variety of, with the Space Wolves plastic kit. Just loads of different options. Uh, crests here, knee pads, heads, uh, backpacks. It's all different, it's a brilliant variety. I'll show you one of the bareheaded ones here. God, a lot of work's gone into this. The eyes are all picked out, it's the toning on the face, the hair. See the strokes, the brush strokes they've done for the hair, very, very nice. Because the eyes immediately drawn to the, the facial features and they've really picked this one out, you can see them. Just there, very nice. Nice that one. There is another one here, there's a couple actually. Uh, there's this one. Another brilliantly done one, really nice. Very crisp finish to these. That one there. Just give you a chance to see these up close. I often get to zoom in during games. It's nice to see them. Spend a bit of time looking at them. Heel transfers are on perfectly here. Very nice. Couple more. That's that one. I picked out all the runes here on the face for this one. On the knee pad as well. Nice. And then I went for two plasma guns uh, in this squad. There's this one. Another brilliantly done uh, bare head here as well. And in the plasma, I, I'm pretty sure I remembered to uh, I asked for this blue. I do like this kind of glowing blue uh, for plasma guns. That's what they've done. Nicely toned and faded out here on these uh, wolf towers here at the back as well. Really good. And then one more. Another bare headed one as well. Cool, kitted out with combat knife I've added in. Glowing runes just there, but very, very crisp finish on these. So, Siege Studios has done a very nice job indeed. But you can check them out, uh, siegestudios.co.uk. I'm sure they're international, they can help you out if you're overseas as well. I'm just going to zoom out here so you can see the whole squad. So, that's the squad of 10. Not sure about 8th edition, how good a squad of 10 with two plasma guns will be. May I have to make some changes on that. Um, well, I've said, I'm sure they'll be generally pretty good. They're just The idea for these is to uh, drop pod them down at the drop pods here. This is uh, the drop pods that Seed Studios have done for me. Added on uh, the details there, spare uh, parts from the uh, wolf guard set I'd imagine. Just to make that nice wolf guard feel, uh, space wolf feel to it. That's the uh, drop pod for this squad. So you imagine them getting out and disembarking during the game from that. But again, links in. This squad links in really nice with their uh, dedicated drop pod uh, transport there. Now, as to how well drop pod units will do uh, in 8th edition, I'm, I'm sure they'll still be pretty good. Uh, but that's the option here for the Grey Hunters. That's the video there. 
So keep a look out for Space Wolves in the future. I hope to do some games with them quite soon. Uh, about a thousand points I think I'll aim for and then build it up from there. And then uh, we'll keep a look out for some more arrivals uh, coming from Sea Studios as well. And you get an overall idea of how the army will be. But that's uh, Great Hunters here, completed and ready for battle. Uh, all painted up by SiegeStudios.co.uk. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.